Hi, I'm Josue. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Databricks's budget policies. Budget policies, in a nutshell, help you understand your Databricks serverless spend. Historically, people associated Databricks with a painful compute setup experience. People had to figure out, oh, what runtime do I need to use? Do I need to enable Photon or not? What type of compute do I need to choose? And what should my auto scaling settings be at? Databricks is serverless gets rid of all these pain points. But it does leave one thing that we do need to make sure that we set up properly, and that is budget policies. Like I said, budget policies help you understand your cost better when it comes to your serverless spend. What I mean by helping you understand your cost is it puts those costs into specific buckets or allocated accounts. So if you're an organization that has a marketing and a sales department, for example, you could attribute certain spend towards that marketing department or that finance department or that sales department. Perhaps you have cost centers you want to attribute this to. Perhaps you have both things, right? Departments and cost centers, because when it comes to reviewing those costs, you might want to review them by department, while someone in accounting might care about looking at things from the cost center standpoint. Databricks's budget policies addresses those needs. So I hope you enjoy this demo. I think serverless is a very important step for Databricks to simplify the platform experience. But as always, your money matters and how you spend your money matters. And that's why I think that it is important for your organization, if you're planning on using serverless, to use budget policies. And more than just budget policies, have a very wise cloud cost management strategy. I'm here in my Databricks workspace, and I'm an admin in this workspace. To get started, go to the top right and let's go to settings. Navigate to compute on the left side under workspace admin. Then go to serverless budget policies on the middle menu and click on manage. This is the home to your budget policies. We're going to create a budget policy or a bucket of tax, if you will. There are many strategies for tagging. The way that I'm approaching things here is I'm going to create a generic or a general budget policy for my finance team. And later on, I'll create some budget policies for other teams or with special projects in mind. My go-to tags are generally environment, is this production, is this development, as well as department. Are we talking about the finance team? marketing team, sales team, and also I like to think of what project does this belong to? This is very, very important for measuring the ROI and some of those special projects that you know are gonna create a lot of spend. I highly recommend that you align your overall Databricks tagging strategy with your cloud tagging strategy. And likewise, your cloud tagging strategy should be closely aligned with your business team, your finance folks, so that you have a good holistic picture as to where your spend is. And hopefully you will be able to connect it by to or tie it back to revenue. This looks great. Now let's go ahead and click on create and ta-da, this budget policy is officially created. Anytime we're working with serverless and we pick that finance dash generic budget policy, this are the tags and the values that are going to be used for allocating that serverless spend. Now let's set up some permissions so we know who can use this budget policy as well as who can manage it. Go to grant access. I'm going to give Sishan from my team the ability to use this policy, meaning if he's using serverless compute, he can leverage this policy to assign this cost to, uh, to this corresponding tag and value combos. Meanwhile, Ranjit will be able to both use and manage this policy. And I'm just gonna give him basically the managed ability or the managed role. 
Here are all the users that have access to this policy now. Let's go add more serverless budget policies. Your budget policy strategy will probably involve creating multiple budget policies for different teams containing different tag value combinations. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and create some additional serverless budget policies. I will fast forward, but hopefully it's going to help paint a picture as to what else is possible or what else you could do with serverless budget policies. And done. Here are the policies that we created, plus one that I had there before this video. Now that we've created those, let me show you how to use them. This is how you leverage budget policies inside an interactive notebook when using serverless. We're going to go to environment on the right and simply select what policy we want to attribute our serverless cost to when using this notebook for interactive workloads. Binance generic in this case. Click on apply on the bottom right. Read the little pop-up and confirm our action. Now, whenever we're using this notebook in interactive mode, it's going to associate the cost of our serverless to those tag values that we created under that policy. Let's switch gears. Now, this is how you use serverless budget policies when you have a workflow or a job that is using serverless compute. Here is our marketing campaign workflow. Under job details, we're going to go ahead and edit the serverless budget policy. The SEO marketing campaign blitz is the right one for this workflow. As you can see, our costs are going to be attributed properly now. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that it was helpful to you and your organization. Cost management is near and dear to my heart and connecting the technology to the real business needs is even more near and dear to my heart. For more content like this, Consider following me on LinkedIn as well as on YouTube. Have a wonderful day.